Welcome everyone back to the Crimson 15 Podcast. I'm your host, Crimson 10. And 15 PCA. Be sure to follow us over on Twitter, at C15 Podcast. Join the discussion over on Discord, link in the description below. And if you're enjoying the videos, be sure to sub, like, share, and hit that bell for notifications. So we got another Trek article here. And normally I say don't go to these websites because they're garbage here. But bounding into comics, while I don't agree with everything they post... They're pretty fair and decent, so I'll actually put the actual link to this article and actually check this uh, website out. They're actually pretty good, and uh, they post stuff like this I didn't see anywhere else. Uh, yeah. Star Trek Voyager's Kate Maru claims Gene Roddenberry and Star Trek, the original series, are quote-unquote extremely mis- misogynistic. Oh, yeah. Extreme misogyny. I, I, mean, don't, I don't know what to say. That's ridiculous. Star Trek, when it first came out, was a breath of fresh air in sci-fi, and a breath of fresh air for... Mankind, in terms of, we'll be able to get along with each other and be able to evolve to the point where we we're past our differences. And I mean, I don't know how you get misogyny out of that. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and just read this article and we'll stop and comment yeah. there and there. Kate Maru, who played the first female Star Trek captain in Ka- and Catherine, um, Captain uh, Janeway in Star Trek Voyager, claims Star Trek, the original series, extremely misogynist. In an interview with Radio Times, while promoting her upcoming documentary series, The Space Race, Maru responds to a question regarding the number of fans discontent with the Star Trek Discovery. Yeah, I know, because that freaking sucked. Yeah. And and the question that some claim disliked Discovery had a misogynist edge in vitriol. See, that was it. That's that's their thing for everything. If you don't like this, you are a something ist. You're yeah. a racist, you're a misogynist. It's an ism. Yeah, that's or an it ism. It's it's yeah. racism, it's it's uh yeah. no. It just isn't, it's objectively not good. Yes, it's just bad. It's bad storytelling. So, of course, that's the answer. That has to be the answer, right? Yeah. Maru responded to the question, not only stating that the original series was extremely misogynist, but that the Star Trek creator Gene Roddenberry was too. She even lumped in Star Trek Next Generation and followed uh, John Luke Picard. Yeah, because Next Generation was misogynist too. Not even close. Picard was actually a gentleman. He only The ultimate liked, gentleman. Yeah, gentleman. Okay, besides Vash, and uh, that was it, really, I could think of on top of my head. He didn't, wasn't like that. There's there's nothing that John, I'm trying to even think. There's times where he would stand up for all of his crew. It didn't matter yeah. who you were. If yeah. you were serving on the Enterprise, you were important to him. Yep. And he didn't care about even uh, different races, alien races. No. It didn't matter to him. So what are you talking about? And, and the other thing about it, when you were first captain of Voyager, J, uh, McGrew, it was 1996. That was 24 years ago? I mean, come on, are you kidding me? Misogyny, get out of here. Uh, this is her quote. I don't think you should be surprised by that, about the people, oh, it's a misogynist that hate Discovery. Yeah. Did you watch the original series? It was extremely misogynist. That, that, that's what it was, it was for the year that Picard followed, and to a certain extent, Roddenberry himself was that way. We are simply going to have to change the sensibility, this ideology, and we are, but it's like moving granite. It takes a long time. We're not a society that has endorsed females as equals to males on television. What? You? That was 96. You, you were a captain. Yes. You got to do something. That is so amazing. Oh, for, for, for sci-fi for, people, it's incredible. Did you got to be, a, and it's not like this was some offshoot special that was one episode. No. no. Voyager went. It didn't yes. get as many seasons, but it got seven, it got right? Seven. Got That's seven. a lot. That is a lot. So what the hell is she talking about? She's, she's crazy. I lost all respect for oh, her. Oh, yeah, it was ridiculous. I will say Gene Ronnery, the person, you know, was a woman, and he cheated on his wife, and he did all those things. But in terms of his writing, had nothing to do with that. Nothing. And you want to play in the 60s, that was the style. It wasn't necessarily sexist. That was just the way yeah, they dressed and, uh, the you style. Know, see, here's the thing. Is it sexist or like when they had the first interracial kiss? Well, was that sexist? Yeah. So which one? See, I don't, I don't know. You can't win with these people. No, you can't. You had an, a completely 1,000 million percent diverse cast in the original from series. Di- and from different countries, too. And we were in in a Cold War embroilment with oh, Russia. About the and mid-60s. there was a Russian... <laughs> On the freaking bridge, and we were all working together because we're human beings, and we all work together. Yep. But oh, me? misogyny. It's just, it's just, and then, and then, what, and what a way to sell the face of Gene Roddenberry. I'm tired of icons being saying, "Well, they weren't really that good. You like them now?" That kind of attitude. No, Gene Roddenberry Sla- slapping a dead mad. corpse. Oh yeah. <laughs> His running was nothing but great to show how humanity can evolve and be better men of man and be able to work together on our common problems. We're all humans in the end. Yeah. But it's we can't a, have that. We're all Starfleet. It isn't American or man or woman. No. It was the Earth. We were a federation of planets. Yeah. 
I, what, it, you were a captain in the show. I don't understand how, what, what, did she get hit in the head or something? And, and, and never, in any time throughout the seven years, they never belittled her. Never said she couldn't handle it. Never cut, none of that. Oh, she's a woman. None of that happened. So what is she talking about? See, but, um, of course, you know, you got to get all sides of this, uh, thing. Uh, they continue on. However, earlier, uh, in the interview, Maru praised Roddenberry. Quote, we now, well, now you're talking about a visionary in his name, was Gene Roddenberry. He foresaw what could what others could not see. The fact that Star Trek emerged at the same time is no accident. Roddenberry came to his own at exactly the time we recognized the value of the possibility of material space travel. So she says, what a great visionary he is. Oh yeah, and he was a misogynist too. Well, you, you, you basically, like I said, it's like baking a cake and you put the one ingredient that ruins it. That's what you did. Now Why it's all you, ruined. It's all ruined. Yeah, you, you, you put you put in a drop of a garbage water, you yeah. ruined the batter. You ruined the whole thing, yeah. You can't just, well, why even bring it up? So stupid. This is what I guess. I'm this, defending Discovery. That's why. This is what I would do. If someone asked me that question. Like, you know what? There are toxic fans out there, and there's people who love the show. There's people who hated the show. Everyone has their own reasons for it. I don't, and again, I'm playing her. And I, I personally thought it was a wonderful show with great characters. You'd say that. Yeah. Don't just automatically. Oh, you're 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 this. You're a misogynist. And, and before that, she was she was a waitress in Los Angeles. You got your big break with this. You know what I'm saying? And then you're gonna do this and just do, well, it's not even true. That's the thing. It's not even a. a a truthism. It's not. And then she they, they talk about her playing the first um, female captain. Uh, she then touched on the importance of playing the first female captain and how it furthered Roddenberry's vision. But again, he was a misogynist, right? Uh, yeah. Without question, playing the first female captain was a huge responsibility, not just for the uh, further the extraordinary ideas given wings by Gene Roddenberry, but to do so with the intention and intelligence that it would extend itself in particular to women in my audience. But if he, if how would you extend his vision if he was a misogynist? Yeah. See, see how that ruins everything. Yeah, it's just, you, it is. It's like at that point she's just saying white noise. It doesn't make it. It doesn't mean anything because for the first part she said, that's why it's stupid. She's trying to give uh, points, virtual singling points. It's just I hate yeah, that. Yeah, then she goes on like saying all this positive stuff, but like you, you just you pooped on it. Yeah. See, um, this is her speaking again. They came out of school, MIT, Harvard, Yale, and instead of going to research, uh, sitting in an office, they just wanted to go into the field. They wanted to go up. Watching Catherine Janeway, Captain of Starship, empowered them in a way that nothing else could at the time. They were talking about the 90s in Hollywood. That would put on television as a harbinger of, of things to come. But I thought we were still embroiled in it. That Again, that was in 96. What you're saying here is true, but then you like took it all back. Yeah. It's so weird. Like, she got mad that they, people don't like Discovery for legitimate reasons. That's uh, just, just coming from... It's ridiculous. Um, <laughs> so, you know, uh, again, we don't we don't like to talk politics, but these people talk politics. So, someone asked him about, oh, how uh, President Trump wants to go back to the moon and restart NASA and do all yeah. those things. So, she has to quote it on this. Even though that's something she should absolutely love, she has to be against it because that's it's 2019. And then she's in a very show that's about the end result of that. Quote her, now we have this clown, Donald Trump, who has no vision whatsoever. So our space uh, immigration has been blunt for the time being. I don't think he has any intention of returning to the moon. He's not educated. He's inept. And if there's nothing of a self drain in space of Trump, nothing but for promotion for him. So you're just saying he's lying? First of who all. Who cut the NASA program again? Uh, Obama did. Oh, so. Oh. I know, but that's, it's Obama. It's okay he did that. But it's so crazy about with Trump, he's not doing it himself. What, he's going to be running NASA? He's not have other people do it. He just funds the money for it. So what is she even talking about? The, so the president, did, again, uh, Kennedy wasn't an astrophysicist. Yeah. He, would, he, he probably had a very rudimentary understanding of how all this works, yeah. but he knew that the American spirit and ingenuity and excellence could get us there. Yeah. And Trump's even starting this one, start the Space Marines, which is awesome. Yeah. We, again, I, I, hey, we got to get Master Chief somehow, right? Yeah. And again, they... um. The close of the interview was the whole misogynistic remark, and then she says, "I might go back and talk to them passionately about the about the way, the truth, and the light." You're, you're, well, the light. Who the, who the hell do you well, think you are? Well, she was married to a Democratic governor, I think, at one <laughs> time. So they think they got divorced. Here's the thing: I used to really, again, a lot of people crapped on Voyager, and of course, everyone always made the funny, mis you know, jokes. Oh, the woman captain, but she was a good captain. She was as close to being that, you know, she was all about sacrifice. You know, uh, the captain always goes down with the ship. You never leave a man behind. She believed in all those that, things. But the thing I just saw her as a captain. Yeah. I never, that never even entered my mind when I saw her. 
The thing is, I would put her. It, it's not Deep Space Nine Next Generation, but it's third, though. I put it third. It's, it's pretty good. I, I just, I mean, just, uh, we're just talking about Voyager memories. I just love that when she had, like, the opportunity to get back, and then she's like, no, yeah. you can't. You, she could see Earth like he like bastard. Well, that was cute. Yeah, yeah. like you just like you see things like that, but it's that's not we we got out here. We're gonna get our way back. Yeah, we're gonna find a way. Hell, and high it, water. We'll yeah. find a way. And I, my goodness, man, I talk about the cast. I mean, I love, I love my, I love Belana Torres. I know a lot of fans that I found online don't like her. I love her. Yeah, I she love was the great. character. Yeah, because she was finding the clean on emotion with the human side of herself. All and the you're in the middle of nothing nowhere, yeah. so you really don't have anyone to relate to. No, you don't. She didn't have like a war for or anything like well, that to, to. Until they found that ship at Clean. Yeah. <laughs> that one episode that was funny. It just it sours it a little bit. Yeah. To, to know that this is what you think. Yeah. That you, if you honestly felt that way, why did you take the job in the first place? I know. It's so stupid. But <laughs> I just gotta cut it in there because I gotta show those fans. That's what I mean. It's stupid. <laughs> I just. And then do I, I want to? S- do you want to <laughs> see her come back? Now, it kind of sours it for me. I mean, if she plays like an animal in the new Picard series, I'd be like, "Yeah, you kind of really." I thought I think you're a misogynist, John Luke. I know, right? <laughs> Could you imagine? Stupid, yeah. Oh, are you kidding me? And, and on a side note about Voyager, I love Tom Paris. He does holiday programs. I would do. I would still do a Flash Gordon one. That'd be so fun. Th- those are fillers, and yeah. you have to do something to fill out some of the episodes. That's what makes it funny, though. I um, rack me a queen of the spider people. <laughs> That's so awesome. I just love the fact that it was in black and white too. Yeah, <laughs> just, I, I want to be in black and white. That would be so you cool. You literally see it in black and white. That's what makes it beautiful. Good. Yeah. But uh, you're all about Fairhaven, right? Oh, I hate Fairhaven. Don't even get started <laughs> on Fairhaven. You know I hate Fairhaven. Uh, there's nothing magical going on. I, or I, Island in the past. Okay. Well, or, or anything fantastical. It's yeah. just like a relaxing Yeah, even thing. like uh, Harry Kim when he first went, they go, so where's the Banshees at and the Leprechauns and all that? None yeah. of that going on. Is something on? cool going to happen? No. no. What the hell is the point? What are we point? doing? Yeah, exactly. It's like Dr. Quinn Medicine Woman. <laughs> I know, in the Ireland. Who cares? <laughs> but um, yeah, Kate Maru, you're... I, I just never meet your heroes. You know, yeah. but it's just like I'd rather be ignorantly blissful about thinking about these people, but they're all just jerks. Well, you have to remember now, thanks to the internet, we're all going to learn about all this stuff. Yeah. Because they're just going to be covered. Someone's going to cover it and like, wow. Uh, it's unfortunate, but this is how they really feel. And then they're still participating in it. So it's like, you're worse than we are. Yeah, we're just consuming you, it. Yeah, you assume when you say it's so bad, why are you even part you of You made it. it. Being a female. Yeah, <laughs> I know, right? Ridiculous. Crimson Saint here. Thanks for watching the video. If you're enjoying the content, be sure to sub, like, share, and hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss a single upload. If you have any tips or story ideas, hit us up on Twitter at C15Podcast, or better yet, join our Discord server. Link in the description below.